We stopped by the newly renovated African Rainforest Pavilion at the Toronto Zoo today to check out the pygmy hippos, always a family favourite, and a brand new exhibit featuring ring-tailed lemurs. We have ring-tailed lemurs back at the zoo now for the first time in about 15 years. They are only found on the island of Madagascar, which is the found on the southwest uh, side of the continent of Africa. Um, these guys are, all lemurs are endangered and there's about 22 species of lemurs. These guys are mostly terrestrial, so they spend a lot of time on the ground rather than in the trees. The lemur's tail is pretty cool. Our guys, they're ring-tailed lemurs, so it's actually alternating black and white stripes up their tail. Um, they also use their tail and they hold it in an S shape as they're walking so they can see each other while they're walking around through like bushes and trees and leaves and things like that. These guys mainly eat fruit in the wild, they'll eat some veggies, they eat leaves as well. They're kind of the most ancestral primate, so kind of the most primitive basically. Um, but yes, they are generally very, very active. They're really playful, they're always jumping around, and kids love to see the animals moving around and eating. Hello. The Pikmi Hippo exhibit is also new. Uh, the south half of the pavilion has actually been renovated. They're not that active. Um, they mainly will rest a lot during the day. We do have a, a pair. Um, it's a male and a female, Harvey and Abu. So we're hoping that we'll have baby hippos at some point. Pygmy hippos are different from the river hippos. They're much smaller. They're generally about between 400 to 600 pounds, whereas the river hippos are much, much larger, probably three to four times that size. Um, these guys are more uh, terrestrial than aquatic. They do like the water a lot, but they are found on land a lot more than the river hippo. Kids love it when the hippos go in the water. That's just kind of a natural thing. You assume hippos in water. Um, everybody likes to see them eat as well. Here at the zoo, they get lots of different veggies. They get a little bit of fruit. They get melon. Um, they also get hay. That's kind of their the more dense part of their diet. Um, and they get tubes, which are just special tubes, kind of like a dog or cat chow, but it's made for hippos. They are dangerous, but they're not aggressive. Definitely, you wouldn't want to go in with them, um, but which we don't go in with any of our dangerous animals here at the Toronto Zoo. But they're pretty gentle once they know you, and they do like the keeper's attention. Harvey, this way. Loved coming to the zoo ever since I was little, so it's a dream come true. <laughs>